Hey guys, welcome back here. In this lecture, I'll migrate our existing applications in Angular 5 to Angular 6. So without further waiting, let's start. Go to your terminals and make sure you're in a folder of your project. And let's type git branch and you should be on master branch and git pull to make sure everything is up to date. So password and already up to date. Great, now we can create a new branch. So git checkout dash b and name of a branch features slash migration to Angular 6. Angular 6, like this. Perfect, let's press enter and let's verify we are in a branch. Get the branch and we are here. Amazing. Okay, and now we need to do some changes to our project. So I will navigate to my package.json and you can see we are using Angular 5 version here of animation, common, core and so on and also CLI and compiler CLI. So we need to we need to change it. So let's go to our terminals again and I prepared for you some commands we will use. So I will include this file inside of our resources of this lecture and we can copy first command. So first we need to uninstall Angular CLI globally. So let's copy this command. Let's go to terminal and let's type first sudo if you're on a Mac computer. So sudo and let's paste it here npm uninstall g angular CLI. Press enter and a password. And let's wait until it's uninstalled. Okay, it's uninstalled. So let's continue. Okay, here is a second command to, to cache verify. So we will verify our cache and we will clean it if it's necessary. So I will copy it and I will paste it in terminal. And this can run a little bit longer. So npm cache verify. And let's wait a little bit. And maybe I will fast forward video until it's finished. Okay, it's finished, so we can continue. Let's see our file. And here we need to install globally Angular CLI and latest version. So let's copy this command. All right, let's go back to terminal and let's paste it here. And don't forget sudo if you're on a Mac. So sudo and let's paste it here. And this should be npm install, not pm install. So I will add here n, npm install, and let's wait. Okay, it's installed, so we can continue. Let's navigate here and now we need to do some changes in our local packages. So first I will remove node modules and you can do it manually or by command rm-rf node modules and we'll, this will remove your folder node modules and all of the files inside. So let's copy it. Let's go to terminal and let's paste it here. So rm-rf node modules and make sure in a folder of your project. So let's press enter and let's wait a little while. Okay, it's uh, removed, so you can continue. And let's see under command, and it's npm uninstall save dev angular CLI. So we need to uninstall angular CLI first. So I will copy this. Let's go back to terminals and let's paste it here. npm uninstall save dev angular CLI. So press enter. Okay, it's uninstalling. Let's wait a second. Okay, it's uninstalled, so we can continue. And now we need to npm install save dev angular CLI latest. So I will copy this. Let's go back to terminal and let's paste it here. So npm install save dev angular CLI latest. Let's press enter and let's wait until it's finished. Okay, it's installed, so let's continue with one more command and it is ng update angular CLI. So let's copy this. Let's paste it to terminal and now ng update at angular slash CLI. So let's press enter and this should update our Angular version. Okay, it's creating new files and you can see it deleted our old Angular CLI JSON and created a new angular.json and some other changes in this file listed here. So let's wait until it's finished. Okay, it's finished so we can continue. And I think now we need to run npm install. Yeah, so we need to run npm install to install all packages listed in our project. So back to terminal and npm install. And this can take some time, so I will fast forward this installation. Okay, it's finished, so let's continue. And the next command is ng update angular core. So I will copy this. Let's go to terminals and let's paste it here ng update at angular slash core. Okay, so again, we need to wait 
it's a lot of installing and updating, removing. So I will fast forward this process. Okay, this is finished. So continue here and now we need to npm install rxjs as lint. So I'll copy it, let's paste it in terminal and don't forget to add sudo. If you are new max, so sudo password. And again, let's wait. All right, this was finished fast, so let's continue. Now we need to copy this command, paste it, and let's go back to terminal. So let's press enter here. Okay, it's complete, so we can go back to our nodes. And now npm install rxjs compat save dev. And we are adding save dev because this is a development dependency. So back to terminal, paste it here, npm install rxjs compat save dev. Press enter and wait. Okay, it is installed and actually at this point your Angular framework was updated to Angular 6. So we can run our applications in these updated settings. Perfect. So let's try it out. Let's run npm start. But for me, I have a little bit difficult project, so I need to run npm run start dev because npm start already is an other command under it. So let's wait until our application is compiled. And we will see. And I probably will acquire some issues along the way because, as I said, it's a bigger project and I, I have a lot of dependencies. So some of the dependencies maybe are not compatible still with Angular 6. So you'll see what will happen. Okay, and we have our first problem, and here's a problem with the Toast container actually, and has no exported member animation transition event. And I already read about this problem, and we need to install new package for Toaster, because this package doesn't support new version of Angular, but we can fix it very easily. Let's go to our browsers and to Google search. And here to Google, and we need to install package ngx, ngx toaster. So ngx toaster npm. And this is a very similar package as we had before. And we, and we need to do just small changes in our applications. So let's wait until it's loaded. Okay, I can scroll down here. And we need to npm install ngx toaster dash dash save. Perfect, let's copy it. And let's go to terminals. I will paste this command here, press enter, and let's wait until it's installed. Okay, it was installed, but we still need to do some changes in our applications. So let's go to back to browser and let's see it. We need to first import styles and we are using angular.json. So we need to import this node modules ngx toaster, toaster says as. So let's copy this and let's go back to our coding editors, to our angular.json. And I will copy it here in a styles. So here, ngx toaster, and we can remove this ng2 toaster. So I will remove this. Let's save it and let's go back to browsers. And now we need to import toaster module. So okay, I will copy this. Let's go back to our coding editors and here to src and to app folder and app module. And I will paste it here after a previous toast module like this. I will remove the old one. And now we need to use the same toaster, toaster module for root. So toaster module for root, change it in imports. Save it and let's go back to browsers. And here we are doing this line, toaster module and browser animations module is already there. So let's verify and here is a browser animation module. Perfect. Let's save everything. Let's go back to our browsers. And now we can use this function, this toaster success, and we are already using this function. So we just need to change import because we are now using toaster service. So let's go back and let's find some file where we are using toaster. So rental, rental detail, rental detail booking and TS file. And here I'm using toaster, I think. And here is a toaster manager. Perfect. I will copy this name and I will look up in SRC folder for all of the toasters. So you can do it in app folder. So app folder, find in folder, and I will find this toast manager. So let's find it. 
Okay, and now I can click here on Tools Manager and we can change it one by one. So first I will copy this line of our toaster service. Okay, let's copy it and first I will change imports. So first import here, toaster service, I will go back to find the results, toaster manager here, so I will change it here, toaster service, let's go back to our find results and we will just repeat these steps until it's finished everywhere. So toaster service here, find results, and also in rental update component, so I will change it here. Perfect. And now we can change our toaster service and our imports in constructor. I mean dependency injection. So I will change this toast manager for toaster service. And let's remove this view container ref because we don't need any more. This package doesn't require this setting. And we can remove this toaster set root view container ref. So I will remove this line as well. And also we can remove this view container ref from imports. Okay, and now let's repeat this step in all of the files. So in Toast Manager here. So I will copy Toaster Service and again in Constructor. And if you want, you can fast forward this video and you can change it by yourselves. But I will change it here in this video. So Toaster Service here and Toaster we can remove here. Okay. I think two more. So find results, toaster manager here, toaster service, change it in constructor, container ref, I'll remove this line, also container ref from imports, perfect, find results, toaster manager here. So let's copy this toaster service, toaster service here, perfect, container ref. Okay, and container ref from our imports up here. Perfect, and I think that should be it. Yes, and, and that's it. Perfect, save everything, and let's go back to our terminals. And now we can run again, npm run start dev or npm start. Okay, we have an issue here and view container ref, so we forgot to delete it somewhere. So rental detail booking component is line 43, so rental detail booking component, so let's go to rental, rental detail booking component, TS, 43, and here is a container F, okay, my mistake, let's remove it, and let's run it again. Okay, and when that is compiled, okay, it's compiled, and we have some more issues here with our JWT library, and we can resolve crypto and stream and I know why this uh, error is happening. It's because of crypto library is not compiled by Angular framework because crypto library should be for a node environment and not for a browsers. So we can fix it, actually very simple. I will check my nodes again and here is a package we need to install. So here it is. And we need to install Angular to JWT. So let's copy this. And you can navigate to this website. And actually, I can go to Google search, so you can type it here. So Angular to JWT NPM. Okay, and let's navigate here. And it should be this one I was navigating by link. And I will include all of the links into the very sources of this lecture. So let's navigate to Git page. Here is a GitHub repository. Let's go there. And I will just verify these links. And yeah, it's the same library. Perfect. Okay, let's scroll down here and we need to install it first. So npm install at out0 angular-jwt. I'll copy it. Let's go to terminals. Let's shut down this and let's paste it here. So npm install and this package and don't forget dash dash save. Okay, it is installing and I will fast forward this installation. Okay, it was installed and we can continue. So now let's go back to our browsers. And here we need to use these two lines. We need a JWT helper service, we need to extract helper, and then we need to use decode token function. So first I will copy these two lines, import and const helper. Let's go to calling editors. And here let's navigate to out folder, shared and out service. And here we are using this JWT library that's using crypto 
that cannot be compiled. So I will remove this line, JSON web token. I will paste these two lines here. I will move this helper somewhere else, actually down here. So const helper here, and I will call it JWT. Okay, and now we can use this function decode token. So I will copy this decode token. Let's go back. And we are using JWT, JWT decode. And now we need to use the JWT decode token. So that's it. That was uh, all of the changes, actually. Let's save everything and let's go back to our terminals. Okay, and now again, npm run start dash dev. And now everything should be fine. So let's see until it's compiled. And it's compiled successfully. Amazing. So perfect. Let's go to our other folder of a server and let's make sure our node server is running and you can see app is running. So I will run it again, node, node index.js. And now let's go to our browsers to localhost 4200. So here localhost 4200. And let's see, moment of truth and voila, it is here, perfect. All of our rentals, we can register, log in as before and everything should work. And actually we'll test all the functionality in the next lecture and we'll push these changes to GitHub. And after that, we'll deploy applications with these new features we made in last lectures to Heroku. So it will be very exciting. So guys, that's it. I'm very happy that we upgraded our Angular version and see you in the next lecture.